Talking about exploitation, documented exploitation of somebody that was involved in this film. A lot of these reactionary responses are from people who have not seen the film. A planned screening of Deep Throat at Vancouver's Rio Theatre has people calling for its cancellation. Not because it's a pornography, but because the film's star has said she was coerced into it by her abusive partner. Her voice matters, uh, her experience matters. Linda Lovelace, who died in 2002, wrote in one of her books that her ex-husband forced her into porn by threatening her with a gun. And during a commission on pornography in 1986, she testified, quote, when you see the movie Deep Throat, you're watching me being raped. She was pretty clear about what it was like for her to be a battered woman and during the making of uh, Deep Throat. And uh, so those are facts, the facts that she was abused, that she was exploited. Online, people are calling the planned screening disgusting and appalling, but the owner and operator of the Rio Theatre says love Lace has also made statements suggesting she wasn't coerced. It's not really clear that there's just one way of viewing um, her experience with the film. Deep Throat has always been a historically significant film um, in that it changed uh, pop culture um, significantly and um, the way porn was viewed. She says the screening Wednesday night marking 50 years since the film will feature a panel discussion with a film professor, sex worker advocates and the son and daughter of the film's director. We understand that this is controversial and that's why um, my sister and I are here in Vancouver ourselves to present the film. There's a lot of of, uh, misinformation about what happened and when what went on and people love to form their own opinion from something that they've heard and so we want to be able to really give the truth of what happened. McDougall says she understands why the theater would want to screen something that is historical but when shown without critical analysis exploitation is reinforced. The biggest question is what do we do we care about sex workers and do we care about people that do sex work and that are exploited. In Vancouver Monica Gould, City News.